Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I have a video on my Sephora favorites. Now, if you've been with my channel for a while, I've done this video before. Last year, around the same time, my friend, my good, good friend Natalie here on YouTube and in life, my friend Natalie, her channel is Flowerbomb31. She came up with this great idea to do our top Sephora picks or things that we would purchase if we were going into Sephora, our favorites from things that can be purchased at Sephora. Now, I was looking back through my video from last year, looking at the list of products and seeing the things that made it into this year. There were a few overlapping things, but, and then there was a few sad things, a few brands have left that are some of my favorites, still, still my favorites. So it's like a collective favorite video um, and product recommendations. So I'm gonna leave Natalie's video down below and then I'll leave the videos that we've done in the past, the one that we did last year with the top Sephora favorites. So we thought it'd be fun to do this every single year and gather together our product gather together, but gather all of our products um, that we deem as favorites that can be purchased at Sephora. So I will leave everything linked down below so it will be easy to find if you're interested in purchasing any of these products, but I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Okay, for foundations, I have a few here. One is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Now this can, Estee Lauder finally came into Sephora, so now it can be purchased at Sephora. I love the Double Wear. It's one of my favorites of all time. It just really Really stays in place. A new favorite is the Paracone MD No Foundation Foundation Serum. This is a newer product to me. I haven't seen, I've seen this product at Ulta, but the foundation, and this is specifically the foundation serum. Um, I like this and the No Bronzer Bronzer. These two together are amazing. It's what I have on my skin right now. It's a little bit, it still is a great coverage. It looks more skin-like. The Estee Lauder Double Wear gives a little bit more of like that super, super flawless full coverage. Both of these products I find stay a really long time. Obviously this one is made to stay in place. It's it's called that, but this has a technology in it that really doesn't look like foundation on the skin. So if this is a little bit too heavy for you, but you're looking for that flawless look, I would highly recommend the Paracone MD No Foundation Foundation Serum. The bronzer you can add in because this serum one only comes in one color, I believe, or two different shades. And so, um, Adding the bronzer in, you can either dark, you can darken it for your shade. Unfortunately, you can't make it any lighter um, than the shade that it's already in, but you can use the bronzer to darken it. Okay, for bronzers, I really like the Too Faced bronzers. They have Chocolate Soleil, which is the one I have here. I think this is the most universal bronzer in my opinion. They have it in Chocolate Soleil, um, I think light chocolate, and then they have it in the medium deep. So I love this. It's great for contouring. It's great for bronzer bronzing up face. Um, it has a really nice color to it. I don't think it's too orange. It's that just that really perfect color. And to boot, this smells like chocolate. So I find that this blends into my skin really well. You can use it for both contouring and for bronzing up the face. So the Chocolate Soleil bronzer is one of my all-time favorites. Now last year I think I mentioned the Tarte Park Avenue Princess and that is still one of my favorite bronzers. Um, but I just thought I would throw a new one in there. I also like the Sun Bunny bronzer from Too Faced. It's really nice nice shimmery all over glow bronzer but I think for the most universal bronzer I would go for Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Now the Hourglass powders are a newer addition for me and I have this one in Ethereal Light and I like the one in Diffuse Light as well. These are really great for setting under the eyes and also giving a subtle highlight to the skin. They're really nice. If this is too light of a color then they have the Diffuse Light which has a little bit more yellow to it. I like both for setting under my eyes and I particularly love the ethereal glow for giving like a nice highlight without really having something super duper shimmery. This is a great two in one product as far as highlighting under eyes, giving that nice subtle highlight that's not too over the top but do really does bring a lot of light to your skin. This would be perfect for even someone with more mature um, skin because it doesn't really settle into your fine lines. I find that it really reflects light and it doesn't draw attention if you have any um, fine lines on your face. So this is great and like I said the ethereal light and the diffuse light are my two favorites for these hourglass ambient lighting powders. They are rather expensive but I find the product really does well um, for what it says it does. I 
first got the one in dim light and I didn't like that one at all. It was too dark for my skin, but I really have enjoyed the diffused light and the ethereal light. Okay, cream blushes. I really love the Makeup Forever Second Skin Cream Blushes. They give such a great glow to the skin. This one is in 330, which I believe can only be purchased at Sephora Online because I haven't seen it in stores. But it's a beautiful, I would say, everyday, um, cool, a little bit more of a cooler tone pink color. What I love about these blushes are they blend into the skin beautifully and they really give that like second skin glow to the face. You can use them alone or you can put them, uh, you can top them with powder product. I don't even find that you even need to top it with powder product. They do perform just as well on their own. So that 330 is one of my favorites, but my number one favorite is this one in 410. It's just a beautiful coral. I really feel like coral brings some light to the face and this looks a little bit scary, but when it's blended into the cheeks, it really gives such a beautiful like apricot coral glow to the face and it radiates. It looks like second skin. It just looks like your cheeks were naturally made that way. I don't find these sticky. They almost like set to like a powder. They just don't feel like they go anywhere and they last on my skin. These are great, great blushes. So check out the Makeup Forever um, HD blushes in in second skin cream blushes. 410 is my favorite, but I really like 330. If you're looking for a great brighter pink color, so those are the two right there. As far as powder blush products, I really have liked the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. These blend into my skin so beautifully. I'm wearing this one today. This is Ethereal Glow, and it is a mixture of the ambient lighting powders with blush. These blend into the skin so perfectly that they're kind of like those blushes, the cream blushes. They just look like they diffuse into the skin. That's a really light color. So it's going to be perfect for somebody who has more of a fair complexion like I do. Um, another one of my favorites for, is Diffused Heat. This is a beautiful, brighter coral color and it's a perfect even topper to that blush from Makeup Forever. I just love this color. Such a pretty coral and perfect for all times of the year in my opinion because it has that enough coral to it. It gives your face that like just been in from the outdoors look which is like a natural flush to your face. So Ethereal Glow and Diffused Heat are my two favorites from the Ambient Lighting Blushes. Becca has had some of my favorite blushes this year and I feel like I've talked about all these products a lot in my like yearly favorites video that I did but these are all like recommendations so some of this might be a little bit of a repeat but I do have two Becca blushes right here Damselfly and Songbird. The Becca blush and Gypsy made my video of last year because that's a really beautiful Beautiful baby pink color. This year I was more a fan of some more corals from the line. This is Songbird. This is Damselfly. Songbird is a deep, a deeper coral with like a golden sheen to it. Damselfly is like almost like a very nice peachy pink color. It has a beautiful gold sheen to it as well. Both of these are my favorite and I love them so much. They blend in. The Becca blushes are so smooth and creamy and buttery. They have a really nice mineral effect to them. All of the Becca products are extremely smooth and creamy. So that one is a very unique shade and this one just every time I wear it, I love the way it looks on my skin. Okay, a few of these products I've mentioned in more recent videos, so I'm not going to talk too much about them. The Anastasia Brow Wig are amazing. I love all of the Anastasia products. The Dip Brow, the Brow Wiz, the Brow Set, Concealer, everything is amazing. I highly recommend the products. The Brow Wiz are my favorite because they're so easy to create the line. Um, if you're more of a powder girl, her powders are amazing. I find they stay in my brows. Even the brushes from Anastasia are really, really nice. Um, as far as eyeliners, again, I've talked about this before. I have a super tricky waterline. The NARS Larger Than Life liners are the only only things that work for me um, to really stay in my waterline um, that I've tried. I really, really love them. Rue Bonaparte is the nude, which I love, 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 and then I have the Via Veneto is the black. So these two liners are my go-to, my favorites. I feel like I'm a broken record because I talk about them so much. As far as shadow stick products, something I really love are the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. This one in Cocoa is my favorite. I've done one of my favorite chocolate smoky eyes with this. It has like, it's a deep, dark chocolate, and it has a lot of small micro 
micro glitters in it, but you can't like see them. But it gives a beautiful bronzy chocolate look on the eye. I do have it along my um, lash line today, my upper lash line, and I blended it up and blended shadow in it. This is gorgeous. I absolutely love this color and the formula is amazing. Once these set, they set. There is a grace period that you can blend them out, but I highly recommend you doing one eye at a time because in the time that you're switching to the other eye to like if you put it on, put it on, and you go to this one to work it out, this one will already be set and you won't be able to move it. So use these working one eye at a time, but they're phenomenal and they come in several different colors, but cocoa is one of my favorites for a deep dark chocolate brown. For eyeshadows, I have two favorites. I love the Urban Decay Naked One palette. I love the Naked One, Two, and Three. I have been wearing the Naked One so much recently, but the only thing about this palette is it doesn't have a color in it for the brown bone that's not shimmery. So I like this plus the Naked Basics. So if you have those two palettes, you can really you take this and that Naked Basics on a trip and it would be the perfect amount of matte shades also with the um, shimmer shades that this palette has. This gold half-baked has been one of my favorites to wear and I just think that overall this gives a lot of options to someone who's going into Sephora and really looking for a palette that they're going to get so much use out of. Um, another thing are Bobbi Brown eyeshadows. I've made my own palette but I have this favorite right here is Camel and Toast in the Crease. I've talked about these so much recently um, but I can't get enough of them. Just running them through the crease just really gives a lot of depth to the eye without going overboard so these are definitely my favorites from Sephora if I'm looking to pick up any eyeshadows I think these are the most usable um, products that I go back to over and over again I recently just got this brush but it is the Marc Jacobs the face brush oh, this thing is so soft you can use it for liquid foundation and powder foundation I love it even you can use it for bronzer it's just so so soft and it blends in the products seamlessly um, it's rather expensive but I I highly recommend these brushes. This is a great, great brush. So this is the face number one. Along with brushes from Sephora, the Sephora line brushes are amazing. Some in particular that are my favorites are the number 19 brush, the Pro Smudge brush from Sephora, and this is number 29, and the Pro Crease brush. This is perfect because it's nice and tiny. It gets right into the crease. Um, this one is perfect for smudging out under eye work. And this one basically applies the shadow for you. It's nice and fluffy and comes to a point. It just gets right in there. I love these three brushes. These are among the like 10 to 20 that I love from Sephora, but the Pro Brush line from Sephora is amazing. I highly recommend that you guys check them out if you are um, looking to purchase some brushes and you do want some quality brushes from Sephora. As far as lip products, I do have two favorites here for you. I have come to love the Marc Jacobs Lip Gels. This is in Strange Magic, which is what I am wearing on my lips today. It's like a really nice very, very nude pink shade. I have to use a lip liner with this, and then I did use another product with it. I love this color. These are so, so creamy. If you're looking for a really great nude, I just highly, highly recommend these. I can't stop talking about them. And the other thing I can't stop talking about are the Bite Beauty products. I love a whole bunch of Bite Beauty products. Some of my favorites are these high pigment pencils. This one's in velvet, which is what I do have on with that other, with the Marc Jacobs thing. I just kind of put this like in the corners um, and really blended it in. I love these. This color in velvet is a really pretty um, pink color. And then the other one I like is called Madeira, and it's a gorgeous nude. Now these twist up. They're really nice. Nice um, pigmentation to them. That's a beautiful nude everyday wearable color. They're really creamy. They're nice. They have food grade ingredients in them. I love the Bite Beauty products and the entire Bite Beauty line is probably one of my favorites. They just keep coming out with even better and better products. Obviously, if you watch my channel, I feel like a lot of these things are repeats, but at least you guys know that they are truly my favorites. If you're looking for some really great skincare from Sephora, I love the Sephora brand. Their cleansing oil to remove all my makeup. Their eye makeup remover is amazing. I like the Shiseido cotton pads 
for removing um, any eye makeup because those are so so soft and if you have aging eyelids you have to be very delicate with what you're putting on your eyes and those are like the softest cotton ever um, nine dollars for a package of a ton of them I don't know how many come I think 200 but I I've gotten I think I just finally broke into my second package and I got them way back in November. Those are some of my favorites as far as like skincare products. But I hope that I encompassed a lot of things in this video and showed you guys a lot of different options from Sephora. Don't forget to check out Natalie's video and see what some of her recommendations and favorite products are to purchase at Sephora. Uh, check below if you want to see the video from last year just to see some of our other favorites because I know, at least from my video, I'm still loving everything I mentioned last year. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave below your favorites from Sephora because I love reading through the comments and I know other people appreciate it too um, to find other recommendations when they're going to shop there. So anyways, again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay a while and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.